last night we broke the news for you that Colorado Springs Utilities is seeking another base rate increase. Tonight we're breaking down that request in more detail. Utility officials say it's a much needed investment in the city's growth and changing energy needs. Cardio 13's Tyler Cunnington is live in our newsroom tonight to explain how the proposal will affect you and what the money will be spent on. Tyler. Yeah, Bart Heather, just to give you an idea of the kind of growth they're talking about, Colorado Springs Utilities says they've amassed about $4 billion in assets over their 100 or so year history. Now they're looking to add almost double that, about $3.7 more billion in expansion and upgrades over the next five years alone, which with this proposal would mean about 13 to 18 more dollars on your monthly bill all the way through the year 2029. Colorado Springs Utilities is proposing an unprecedented budget this week to Colorado Springs City Council. They're asking for $1.8 billion, about 21% higher than their budget for this year. That's probably more than we've seen in any five year period of our, our um, existence as an organization. That's a lot of money. So what's it all for? Much can be attributed to the state's future energy goals. Colorado looking to make wind, solar and battery power our dominant energy sources by the end of the decade. We intend to uh, bring in a lot of the renewables that are needed for our clean uh, energy plan, um, reducing our greenhouse uh, gas emissions by 80% by 2030. In addition, they still need to create a natural gas plant to replace the Ray Nixon power plant south of Fountain. That, along with upgrading substations around the city, adds up to about $1 billion. We're expanding the um, capacity of existing substations so that they can handle all of the load of electricity that's coming through. Lastly, CSU needs to expand wastewater infrastructure to accommodate the vast expansion happening along the eastern edge of the city. That adds about another $400 million. We're trying to line up um, rate increases along with the need that we see um, with this large uh, capital infrastructure plan over the next five years. As for your bill, that would go up about $14 per month next year, and it would keep ratcheting up to an additional $80 per month by 2029. The CSU proposal does also call for a new time of day rate for next year. That could save you money based on your energy usage habits. If you're able to do things like move the time that you um, run your dishwasher or uh, run your um, clothes dryer off of that five to nine um, period of time, there's actually opportunities for customers to save in their bill. Now CSU will present their case to the city council tomorrow, but a first vote on the matter won't come until October 22nd. Live in our newsroom tonight, Tyler Cunnington, Cardio 13. All right.